Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making this sausage and olive sandwich. We start our sandwich filling off with some chopped up summer sausage to which we add chopped up olives and chopped up mayonnaise. And yes, those are the correct proportions according to the recipe. Next onto butter bread, and yeah, I'm using the butts. Got to use the whole loaf. We add a leaf of lettuce. Then our mixture. Okay, let's give this sausage and olive sandwich a go. It's pretty mayonnaise forward, but it's not bad. A little summer sausage, which is, you know, of course, sausage that can be uh, kept without refrigeration, thus summer. Um, and the olives are a little salty. It's not bad. I do want to plus it up, though. I'm going to add a little dill pickle relish. A nice little pop. Okay, let's give this sausage and olive sandwich plussed up with a little dill pickle relish. Go. Pickles, contrasting with the very rich mayonnaise and the very present mayonnaise. And the summer sausage. And it works well with the olives as well. All right, so the original sausage and olive sandwich did call for equal parts of chopped summer sausage, chopped olives, and mayonnaise. Uh, to me, that's a little bit too much mayonnaise. And you know me, I like mayonnaise. Uh, I'm not anti-mayonnaise in any way. But that was a little much. So uh, plussing up with the dill pickle kind of helped punch through that and uh, tamp down the little extra richness from all that mayonnaise. I would say the original, it was not bad. I'm going to give it about, I don't know, five. Uh, plus up with the dill pickle relish, it's about six and a half. It is actually pretty tasty. I am going to finish that for lunch. I don't know that I'd make this particular sandwich again, but it's not bad. <laughs> a ringing endorsement. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.